Welcome. Kumusta ka po kayo?
cents a day, you can make sure that somebody eats every day.
You can always reach out to our campaign. You can call me on my cell at 514-290-2468. I give my cell phone number out to everybody because I want you to reach out. That's something that I learned during the pandemic. One of the reasons I'm running is because I learned that people need somebody to reach out to directly. The telephone lines of the city or the province or Canada don't always answer. Sometimes they're bombarded with other questions. But locally in Snowden, when you come to lunch, I want you to reach out to me directly at 504 290 2468 for whatever you need. Whether it's a federal issue, a provincial issue, or a municipal issue, or you just have a question about your kids and something they got from school. Whatever questions you need, and that's what you're going to get if you vote for me on November 7th. Now, when it comes to the elections, the one of the things that's different is you get three votes. You get the mayor of the city, borough mayor, and city council. I'm running for that third position, but my whole part of the slate is Dave Coder, Lionel Perez, and then third is myself, again, the Senate. If you have any questions like that, or just have some general queries, please reach out to me again. I'm running with all song, but none of this matters unless you vote, and I hope that I've earned your support over the last decade of working in the area. My name is Sunny. Please vote. Can you just stand up there? Hello, everyone. Looking amazing. That's a great jacket.
Very nice <laughs> What is that one? I know it's a
vais l'avoir prise, donc je ne vais pas parler longtemps. Euh... <rire> ouais, c'est juste difficile, hein Oui. <rire> Mais j'aimerais d'abord euh, vous remercier tous euh, d'être ici ce soir pour inaugurer les bureaux de Club des Neiges de Ensemble Montréal, équipe de Nicoder. C'est grâce à vous, comme bénévole, comme supporteur, que ça nous permet de justement faire ce que nous, on doit faire pour mieux gérer la ville avec une vision d'avenir, évidemment avec notre chef, le chef d'orchestre et notre chef de partie, M. Denis Coderre. Merci Denis d'être venu ce soir. A very brief, I think it's, it's obviously we have to be restricted uh, in terms of the amount of people we can have. Everybody is vaxxed, so we don't have, we're respecting the rules. Um, thank you to every single person who's coming here, not only to come here tonight, but to come here for the next six to seven weeks. <laughs> Offices, they're pretty impressive. They're really, you know, enjoyable, very appealing, and the story behind it is very interesting. Um, myself and the team, we were here uh, visiting uh, the space because it was just opened up, and we said this would be a great place to have as a campaign office. And I have to thank the founder of this workshare space, which is called Swivel, Mr. John Ayala. Thank you. <laughs> that made it very easy for us to be able to integrate and to be able to find the right mix of offices and share space. And I look forward to this continued collaboration and I wish you much success for now and for many years to come. We're here because we have to effect an important change in Montreal. For the last four years, we've seen an administration that is only concerned about one thing, that's ideology and only governing for a certain segment of the population. The difference between Projet Montréal and Ensemble Montréal is that Ensemble Montréal governs for all Montrealers, not just for Montreal. And we do it uh, with an, a vision, a vision of openness, of tolerance, of inclusion but also being pragmatic and progressive, finding that balance. And the master of the radical center is none other than Billy Kader. <laughs> and, you know, to be able to do this, it's, it's a huge undertaking. C'est vraiment beaucoup de travail. Et ça serait pas possible sans évidemment les bénévoles, les familles, les proches, mais aussi les candidats. Les candidats qui font partie de l'équipe de Côte de Neige de Et Je suis extrêmement fier de l'équipe qu'on a fait dans le centre. Extrêmement fier de ce que nous avons fait ensemble. Parce que le team que nous avons fait ensemble est vraiment représentatif de ce que Côte de Neige de l'UG est tout à fait ce qu'il est pour. Je vais vous dire juste une fois de temps, ils déservent They've been working hard for the last number of months. We've learned to, to grow to know one another, some we knew, some we less knew, but we've learned to really gel, appreciate, and really see how we complement. So I'm introduced first and foremost, Dimitri Castellano. And we have next to her Sunny Moreau for the <laughs> uh, I've known Sunny for many years. He's been working obviously with Anthony Housefather, uh, outreach coordinator. He knows the kind of shoes he has to fill for snow. It's huge. <laughs> <laughs> dedicating himself. Him and Jackie, to Snowden, to Cote d'Alegre, to Montreal, and he was decided to take the very difficult decision to take a step back and to try new things, Mr. Marvin Rocha. <laughs> the kind of person 
question that Margaret is, is that he could have said, you know what, I've done my 39 years. I'm going to take it easy for the last several weeks of, of, of him being a city councilor, but he doesn't do that. He keeps in contact with the city councilors. He keeps in contact with the borough director. There's issues going on today, and he's still on top of it. Not only that, he came here tonight and he's doing full calls for us. Now, Thank you, Marvin. <laughs> I want to say my friend Lionel's going to be a great girl there. You so will. Oh. Yeah. And of course, I'm very proud to be able to present Stephanie Valens. Well, for done. She's going to be the first Filipina candidate elected in Darnley. And we have obviously our NBG candidates <laughs> that are here with us to support us. And it's a, a, a true pleasure to make uh, an incredible acquaintance in Ashley Thornton for the <laughs> those fresh eyes, not jaded by politics. Someone who's been in business, someone who knows what it is to, to go through COVID in the restaurant, but somebody who wants to continue and focus on the small business in NDG who have been neglected and ignored for the last four years. We're gonna make it happen. Yeah. You, Mon frère, mon ami, hein, Gabriel Greta, avec qui j'ai travaillé pendant huit ans, qui a été mon, mon directeur de cabinet pour les quatre dernières années. Je suis tellement content que tu vas faire campagne avec nous. Mon Dieu, il a voulu que ça se passe comme ça. Here, incredible diversity. Not just obviously visible minorities, we have diversity of experience, diversity of ethnic, linguistic. What you see here today is what NDG, CBN NDG is all about. We are Code Edge NDG. That's who you're going to elect on November 7th. We're going to count on you. We're going to count on you not only to think, ah, it's going to happen. They don't need me. We're going to need you to make phone calls. We're going to need you to speak to your neighbors. We're going to need you to do door to door. We're going to need to do transport. We're going to need you to put up more signs because they vandalized our signs. <laughs> right? And when we get it done, we'll show and we'll show true leadership, true direction for Kota Nege and NEG. So we're looking forward to your help. Thank you very much. My pleasure, it's my great honor and privilege to pass it to my dear friend, my friend, you know me. I want to know in the last mandat, even before the last mandat, and I can tell you, you know, it's someone who has been in the family liberal, federal, for decades, Quelqu'un qui comprend la sensibilité d'être différent, la, la particularité de ce que ça va être. Il n'y a pas de mur à mur. Et il comprend ça. He understands the, the necessity of inclusion. Before it's been a, a, a tag word and a hashtag, I personal experiences in the first mandate where he showed that sensibility to me on a personal level, where it would have been easy to say it doesn't matter. But that's the kind of person that he is. He's a person that when he believes something, watch out. He's, he, nothing is going to be able to stop him. That's the kind of mayor we want. That's the kind of mayor we need. You know, he may, see, he may say some things that are sometimes unpopular. That's okay. We can't kind of agree with everybody. Like pit bulls. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but, but he knows when you get a mistake. <laughs> Sure.
And he's going to give you an opportunity to speak. It's not going to be just pretend consultations. At the end, we might have a disagreement. But he will give you the time of day. He will make sure that everybody had an opportunity to share their view and their perspective. And when it comes time, we're going to find the decision that hopefully will be the most consensual. But there's different differences. But right now in Montreal, we need true leadership. We don't need someone who at the beginning of a debate says they want the Olympics, and an hour later the comms people say, you know, it's a bad idea. Tell them you don't want the Olympics. <laughs> we don't want the kind of mayor we want. We don't want the kind of mayor who says, green, 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 but doesn't do anything for the mountain other than try to block it with cars. That's not the kind of mayor we want. We don't want the kind of mayor who says one thing and then says the other. We want the mayor who's going to give us their just qui va être là pour tous les Montréalais, qui va s'assurer qu'il n'y a pas de plus grand, il n'y a pas de plus petit, mais qui sait assumer que la ville de Montréal, ce sont des quartiers, mais ce sont aussi des métropoles. Monsieur et Madame de Nicodère, Monsieur. Oh, I just stayed 45 minutes. Yeah, yeah. Great job. Great job. Thank you. Je suis particulièrement ému parce que, écoutez, dans les trois dernières années, je travaillais un petit peu plus, un peu plus loin du côté des neiges au Jewish General Hospital. Et euh, j'ai eu pendant les quatre dernières années cette capacité, cette possibilité de bien connaître et de travailler, de vivre dans la Côte des Neiges. Donc, euh, je sais que Côte des Neiges, notre Dame de Grâce, a besoin d'aide. Je sais qu'on a besoin de développer, je sais qu'on a besoin de sécurité, on a besoin de se retrouver. Et euh, d'avoir Marvin avec nous qui a décidé de, de nous appuyer démontre à quel point il est important de bien se rappeler d'où on vient pour assurer l'avenir. Et d'où on vient, ben c'est ce qu'on a perdu pendant quatre ans. Lionel, je veux dans un premier temps te féliciter, te dire à quel point je suis fier de ton leadership avec l'équipe. Je vois à quel point non seulement il y a de l'enthousiasme parce qu'il faut avoir du fun un peu, quand même, mais ce sens de la métropole et ce sens de l'arrondissement est essentiel. Côte des Neiges, Notre-Dame de Grâce est l'arrondissement le plus populeux, le plus diversifié, qui a le plus de besoins et qui a été laissé pour compte parce qu'on aimait mieux chicaner, on aimait mieux donner des outils à des avocats pour aller en cours plutôt que de travailler pour le bien-être de ses citoyens. I decided to come back because my Montreal was hurt. I think the time has come to bring back the magic. You know, I've been Minister of Immigration of Canada after 9-11. All those labeling, all those blame games, all those uh, anti-Semitism that's getting even worse now, and uh, Islamophobia, and all types of intolerance. <coughs> because we decide that we have a, a, the current administration who wants to please their, their volunteers or their, their, the people from their party instead of thinking about everybody. I was in a debate, well, debate. That's a big word. No, no, I have to answer a question. And uh, from his amis de la montagne. And it was always, oh, that's, that, that happened in two, before 2017. It was, I have some great plan. I just said, where were you for the last four years? There is a word in politics that's very strong. I don't know how to say it in English. You'll help me. C'est le verbe assumer. Yeah. The time has come to assume Montreal, to travailler for the population. We have a team that represents the values, the ADN of Montreal, the diversity, the equity, this capacity to work to improve the quality of life of people, all in the sense of the metropole that gives us defaults. I said the other day that I always have the impression that we have a mayor who is in the hall of waiting ou bien qu'il cogne à la porte du magasin à 9h30 quand on sait que les magasins ferment à 9h. La grosse c'est à la porte des autres. I have a problem with it. 
every time that we're talking about housing, every time that we're talking about economic development, you always ask for money for the other level of government. You must all realize, though, that when we were in, in administration, not only we were not cutting $100 million in local infrastructure, but we, for the first time, was cutting the expenses. And we were able to control our budget. I mean, it's good to talk about, you know, great project, but let's talk about the real thing. The, the, the capacity of taxpayer money. So the budget passed from $5.2 billion to $7 billion. Do you feel you have more services? No. <laughs> We were, we were t uh, paying in cash infrastructure to provide us with a margin so we can enhance the services. Not only they get rid of those that, that, that kind of accountability, but at the, end, at the end they spend anyway. Seven billion dollars. We have a hold of 760 million dollars. <coughs> we're paying just for interest 20, 20, 20 cents in the dollar. 22 cents in a dollar. The debt, the cumulative debt from STM, the Aglo, and the city is $18.4 billion. We are at the rate of 120%. When we left, we had 89%. 103, 109, 120. If you look at the, the, uh, the benchmark from Moody's, it was 120%. Now it's 130 you should be pleased with that. Standard and Poor's, it's still 120. And you know we had a margin of a billion dollars. And we made the expense and all that. You know what's the margin now? 42 million. It means that if we have one, one more storm during winter, it costs 54 million dollars. We will pass from 120% to 121%. And you know what it means if we cross that Rubicon? It means that our rate will go, will go down. And when we were there, we were from A plus to double A minus, even faster than the province the government of Quebec. Why I'm saying you this is because we have a tremendous team, we have a great platform, but one and foremost, you need people who can manage. I know one thing, with our team, we don't have to say like Projet Montréal, that our team will have to go for management class. <laughs> so what we will do, not only we'll have a platform, we'll be pragmatic, we will have that balanced approach where we'll provide the tools, not only for NDG Côte de Neige, but for all boroughs, so they can make sure that they have the capacity to provide the services. But at the same time, everybody will have to be accountable. The time has come that even at the bureaucratic level, that everybody, when they're in charge, it means something. Because it's your tech, it's your money. And if we have enough money, you know, I'll tell you, I'll tell you a little anecdote, it's kind of fun. Ryan Gadan, the former premier of New Brunswick, came to see me one, I'm, I'm, I'm the mayor. And he said, Denis, I had my best year in uh, infrastructure. I'm so pleased, I'm proud, okay? How much you spent? Four hundred and twenty million dollars. <laughs> Denis, what's your budget? Well, just to put at level, it's two point one billion dollars, but we just invest one point six billion dollars. We have a budget now of seven billion dollars. We have more, a bigger budget than the four uh, Atlantic provinces together. <laughs> we are the second biggest city in Canada. We are the metropolis of Quebec. We are the leaders of CMN. Don't you think it's about time that we take our leadership and that we play our role because we are the vector of, uh, of wealth? By doing so, not only through the boroughs, but as a metropolis, when we will go to Quebec or to Ottawa, they won't say take a number. We will be partners. And by being partners, it means that at the social level, housing level, at, at even health care and safety, we will take our responsibility. That's the reason why I came back in politics. Because right now, 
we look like a, a, a small village that's not even well managed. We need to have a role to play internationally. I said to the people that Manila will be one of our main priorities as a start. Give me a hand too. Okay? <laughs> but I can talk about give me a give me a country and I'll tell you we have a friend. This is the land of diasporas. This is the land where we can build bridges. This is the land for God's sake of the living together, the vivre ensemble. We're not even there. Because now there's some people who think that if you don't think like us, you're bad people. <laughs> I promise I won't swear tonight. <laughs> I said, this is becoming one of the, more, the most dirtiest city. Yesterday I was in Corinth. Some of them give me shit because I'm what I call a straight to speak. I said, when you, that was funny because even the Lebanese told me that. I said, when you enter to Montreal through the airport and when you have to go to downtown, Reminds us of Beirut after the, war, the civil war. Oh. No, but I mean, it's dirty, full of holes. We have a situation. The best way to take care or to heal is to recognize your problem. Mm -hmm. Secondly, again, two days ago in Côte d'Ivoire, huh, there was there was another safety issue. Firearms. Now they don't give a damn because they even shoot during the day. And it's not just for certain area in Eastern Montreal, it's all over the territory. I feel like we have a current administration who let the fire you know, burn, they get rid of the, before of the uh, smoke detector, and now they realize that the, the, the house is on fire and they want to put one. <laughs> a few weeks just before the election. We need a true team that can speak for everybody, work with and for everybody, who know how to deal with the management, who can understand what services mean. It's not about to be, again, in, through an ideology like you're a bunch of radicals and you cannot suffer the people who don't think like you. That's What's it all about? Not only we cannot afford to have another four years of those people, but the next election is to prepare what we will do in the next 25 years for the next generation. If we're not doing that, we are missing a tremendous opportunity because you have competition all over the place. And I said to a premier and a prime minister, I said, you know what? Cities were born before countries. And in the next 20, in the next 25 years, we'll get over 70 percent of the overall population who will live in the cities. So every time you're talking to me about climate change, social, economics, politics, if you want to have a solution, ask a mayor, because this is where the the, the decision making will get there. The only way to get rid of the red tapes and make sure that things happen is to make sure that we have a strong team that's elected at City Hall. If you believe like me and you love this uh, place like us, not only I want to thank you for your support, Lionel, you have a great team. You're inspirational. I'm very proud of our, of our candidates. Sonny Dimitrov, Stephanie, Dan, Bro, Ash. I think it's important to mention that diversity is mean that we have people who also suffer from the pandemic, who have that experience of crisis management, who have experience in resilience. I can assure you, and I'm very proud of that, we don't have any part of plans as candidates. Everybody has to be chosen. They are true example of loyalty, 
I'm very proud to have them under our team. And you know what's the difference between Projet Montréal? Projet, it's always a projet. <laughs> Us, it's ensemble. It's together. That's the difference. We will make history because we are at the crossroad right now. What kind of community you want to live in? What kind of society you want to cherish? What kind of metropolis do you want to uh, lead to your children? And what kind of society do we want? That's the living together. Sometimes I will say things, yes, that's not popular. But when you think ahead, short-term pain, long-term gain. <laughs> we have to make some difficult decisions because loyalty is at stake. Because if we want to keep that chemistry together, sometimes we have to make some gestures. But one thing I will never make, I will never blame the others. Every time that will be, there, there will be a decision, I'll take all the details. Okay? That's what accountability is all about. But at the same time, you will get the same thing from Lionel and our team, accountability. Mm -hmm. If we decide to do something, we'll explain to people. If we make a mistake, we will say it. It's okay to make mistakes. I mean, uh, the, the, the people who, who, the most successful people, you know, had to make mistakes because that's the only way you grow. But that's what resilience is all about. So I'm very proud of you guys. Thank you very much. I love to be back in politics. <laughs> that we can win them all <laughs> but when you give your hundred percent it's ten percent of inspiration and nine percent of sweat so let all sweat together for the cause it's been a tremendous great audience you're my best audience ever <laughs> Thank you. 